Hey, hey, and welcome to Shuriken Skills, session number five in the Work Smarter, Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, a.k.a. The Design Ninja. In this movie, we are going to use another InDesign ninja skill, and that's the colour theme tool. Now, we're all familiar with the eyedropper. In fact, if I press I on my keyboard, here you get the eyedropper where you can sample colours, and if you want to, you can turn those colours into swatches. But there is another way to get colours that go together really quickly and also apply them at the same time, and that's the colour theme tool. If you hold down Shift and tap I, or if you go and long press on the eyedropper tool in the toolbar, then you will get access to the colour theme tool. And here's how it works. If you click on something in your layout, such as this image, it will create a colour theme, like so. And you can have several different kinds. So these are all colours that go together, and there are different algorithms. So here you've got colourful, but it selects you bright and dark and deep and muted, all at the same time. And if you want to, you can add those to your swatches by clicking this icon and you can see they arrive as a set like so. You can also save them to a Creative Cloud library in the same way. And then you can apply these colors. So for example, if I click on the one in the middle here and drag across the word lift, instantly it gets that colour. If I click on one of these bubbles, it gets that colour. And so I can work through very quickly and apply this colour to all different things on my layout, like so. Really simple, very, very easy and effective to do. So where are the other ninja skill parts in this? Well, here they are. If you hold down the Shift key and click then it selects you a completely different kind of colour. So I'll just quickly come away from that and go back into it. This time I'll hold the Shift key, and when I click, it selects me something based on single colours, such as analogous and monochromatic, and a triad and complementary, compound and shades. Again, all different colour harmonies. And just as before, I can select those and apply them with ease, like that. There's one more thing I can do if I just clear this again and select it again. You can actually clear it by holding down Alt, but there's something on my keyboard stopping me doing that, just so you know. One thing you can do when you're sampling colors, if I sample down here, is hold down Q, you'll notice a plus come up next to the icon, and when you click, your color theme is automatically added to the swatches. So you get all of the theme and they're added straight away. So there you are. That's this week's Shuriken skill for you to practice. Don't forget, if you want to learn more even faster, do check out my titles on lynda.com and LinkedIn Learning. But for now, we're done. Please do subscribe to the channel, reach out to me via Facebook and Twitter, spread the word, and I'll see you next Monday for another Shuriken Skills session.